Hey guys, Laura St. John here from Strong Confident Living. We are a lifestyle community of fitness, nutrition, and mindset to up spiral your life in positive directions. And we are in breakthrough week. I am going to broadcast today about three common pitfalls that a lot of people get stuck in when they're actually seeking to have their next breakthrough. So welcome as you're tuning in. Thanks for joining me today. I think time is the biggest commodity in life, so thanks for spending it with me and thanks for sharing this broadcast on to other people. So I'm going to help you visualize a really strong visual about your breakthrough that you're going to be having, or maybe you've had it already. You know, those aha moments that are just like, OMG, girl, Chelsea, I was just thinking about you. Just thinking about you. Um, seriously, it's amazing. So guys, thanks again for being here. Three common pitfalls to avoid when you want to have your next breakthrough okay and these actually these pitfalls become your stepping stones right we flip everything here to the positive but these pitfalls to avoid are often where people get stuck so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to one not get stuck in that in someone else's path that you that you are stopping to not look at my path and exactly what I'm eating or what Chelsea's eating or what Scott's eating okay so the first thing the first pitfall to avoid is that you got to stop looking sideways at everybody else's paths and what is everybody else doing okay and am I doing it all right okay so the first thing that I want you to visualize to flip that pitfall and avoid it is by recreating a beautiful version of that. And instead of looking at everybody else's paths and being like second guessing yourself and allowing self doubt to creep in, I want you to strongly picture today your path and what it looks like. We did this in the first week of our challenge in our six week kickoff, but I want you to see it now as a door. So when we get through and we're in this week where it's breakthrough week where you have been climbing up this mountain and I'll get to these little letters in just a sec and you're getting to the point of breakthrough where you're ready for that epiphany I'd call it. I'd wake up my sister and I'd be like, Catherine, I had an epiphany today. I had a revelation. And she's like, Laura, you always have these things and I'm going to teach you how to, how to have those breakthroughs, how to have those moments. But it's that aha moment. It's that aha breakthrough. And so step one is stop looking at everybody else's path going up the hill. Okay, yours is your path. And the strong visual that I really want you to recreate for yourself is at the top of your path is this beautiful door. Okay, it's a beautiful doorway. And it's interesting because mine, you know, I, I don't want to even skew you with mine. I'm going to post a picture of what mine looks like later. Just go to images.google.com and find a door that represents your door, your beautiful door to the you on the other side. Okay, I really want you to have this strong visual because the new you is awaiting. If you have not broken through to the other side yet, the new you is waiting for you. And he or she's in there already, okay? Ready to bust out, ready to emerge. And the number one thing some, sometimes is a really strong visual. It'll help you see it, which will help you feel it, and when you feel it, you can then make it a reality. Okay, it just happens. So I want you to really think about what your door would look like to the new you. Okay, in the past, and we've done these six week challenges, it's so awesome to see people's pathways and stuff. Some people are like a doorway that's by a bridge and it's like off a cliff. And some people have these doorways that they've posted that have roses all over them. You know, in the past challenge, I posted a door that had like awesome like yellow lemons on this big, like blue, wooden, beautiful door. Guys, whatever, Scott said like he has no door, okay? He just sees the door frame, it's open. Okay guys, you have to decide visually instead of, hey Dennis, hey guys, you guys have to decide visually to get, stop looking at other people's pathways and doors and am I doing it right? And in order to move towards breakthrough, have the visual of this is the doorway that would lead me to the new me. What does that look like for you? And it shouldn't look like mine. And I mean, maybe, maybe we're like that, right? Maybe we're connected. <laughs> but most likely, it should look completely unique to you. And this is an important part that's going to lead me to our, our, my last juicy tip in just a moment. So stop comparing is a huge piece. 
especially during transformation and breakthrough. If you've been transforming in the last week, but you're ready for a breakthrough, and it, when you're ready to break through to the next level, it is so common that self-doubt seeps in. And when self-doubt seeps in, whether it is in your fitness routine, it is in your business, it is in your health, it is in whatever goal you're looking to achieve, it is really then common to be like, well, what's he doing? What's she doing? What, I just wanna do it, Laura, just as a comparison to see, like where, where am I at? No, okay, you are on your own path creating your own door. So don't get stuck in that comparison rut. It literally is a rut that will not propel you forward. So that's the first one. The second one is that you cannot drag others with you. Okay, we've been climbing, climbing up the hill. People wanna just watch you climb and they wanna watch you go through and they wanna watch you go down the hill because you're the inspiration. Okay, you cannot drag others up the hill with you because that's not necessarily their path. You're on your path, and the more that you try to pull people on your path, the more you are forcing and feeling effort and feeling control, okay? And all of those pieces are outside factors, and you're just showing people like, you could come, you know, you could do this, and I'm gonna drag you, and the more that you really feel like you're controlling the pieces and even trying to force others, the more likely you're just gonna roll back down the hill. Okay, so this last juicy tip is to move you from why I have the M and the I. It's to help you move from motivation to inspiration. And this is insanely different. And when you get it, it'll be your aha moment. Okay, so stop comparing, stop dragging, Okay, just light up your own path, light up your own door, and people will, you'll, you'll ignite others to do the same. Okay, the, the biggest leaders are able to light up their own path, and that stirs up the energy of the other people around them to light up their own path. And this is how. This last juicy step is how. Because people are like, well, what do I do? Okay, <laughs> motivation and motivating is from an external source. So uh, this is where I'm gonna say, what opens your door instead of forcing you through the, the wall is when you now go from motivation to inspiration. And here is how. Okay, when you are motivating, you are pushing, you are forcing. Motivation is normal, okay? It might be from watching our videos. It might be from watching someone else's videos in here. It might be from, you know, it's a push from an external source, motivation. It's like, where do I, when you guys are stuck or when you need to feel like you're getting started in something new and you're on something, we've been doing motivation this whole six week challenge. It's the climb, okay? It's the push up the hill where you can actually seek external sources, whether it's other people, People, other videos, whether it's looking up other quotes that you love to see, what motivates you? And it's like finding an external source to give you that little nudge that you need every single day to just keep going up the hill, going up the hill, going up the hill. But the aha moment of breakthrough happens when you flip the switch from motivation to inspiration. And what happens is the motivation of you seeking an external source to say, am I doing it right? Should I be doing it this way? Like, or I need this quote, or I need this push. You know, it becomes from inside where you recognize, like my friend Laren who's on, I have fireworks inside me. Like, oh my gosh, this is going off. Or you, it might be a subtle aha moment while like you're folding laundry or doing dishes or doing something completely unrelated where you have an aha moment and it's a spark and it comes from within. Okay, so motivation turns to inspiration when you recognize what excites you to open up your very own door, not anyone else's door, and not dragging someone through your door, but it's what, what motivates you internally to have an answer, okay? And it's gonna just pop to you, and it's gonna do it, and sometimes you have to go distract yourself. I was talking to my friend Kat a couple weeks ago, and she was like, Laura, I had the best idea while I was like at the coffee shop folding t-shirts, and I'm like, of course you did, because it's when you're in your most relaxed state that these things will just pop and come to you. But that's what happens in this last step for breakthrough, guys. It is recognizing that it's okay. On the down days or the days that you need motivation or you just can't find it in you, look for the external source 
to get the motivation. That's what we've been doing through Attitude Week and Willpower Week and all of these things. But what is going to open your door is from within. It is the aha moment that you say, I can, I will, I've got this, I've got this fantastic idea, I am doing a great job, I am feeling good today, blah, 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 blah. It just, it's, it's just gonna pour out, okay? And once you practice that, you're gonna get more and more inspired because in, inspired is like having the spirit within, your own spirit within of ideas that literally comes from within, okay? It's you breathing the life into you, okay? It's you giving your courage of what you likely give other people all day long to yourself. And I, I always challenge people that. What do you freely give to others? You know, help, support, advice, love, whatever. Whatever you most freely give to others is likely the same kind of inspiration. You know, you're motivating others, but it's likely the same kind of motivation that you need to give yourself that you need to give yourself that same love. And I see it all the time, especially people in the service sector, you know, teachers and nurses and people all over the place that are just helping others. Like, they often put themselves last. And when you recognize that motivation and all the things that you're giving people could actually be just given to yourself from yourself, you're gonna come and move from a more inspired, like, notion. And when you do, I'm all fired up this week because when you do and you move from inspired action versus motivated action, you are pushing people with an incredible power versus a force. You are pushing your, like if you are doing a business, you are pushing people from their own source versus like dragging everybody to come with you. You will create the most resilient success because you're doing it from, from within. So guys, I really want you to, if you're fe not feeling that yet, and you're like, I'm not inspired, Laura, like I need to get motivation to get inspiration from other people, and I still get it from other sources, that's fine. Guys, it doesn't have to happen today. It doesn't have to happen in this moment. It can happen tomorrow. It might happen in five minutes, but my whole point is that you can't force it to happen. I can't motivate you to say it's gonna happen you know, today or it's gonna happen in 10 minutes. You have to sit with yourself and recognize what inspires you is what excites you. It's what gets you going. It is what you freely give to the other people that you need to give yourself. And start doing that today and relax, just do other things. And you'll find that you're gonna have that aha moment. That is when the door unlocks. That's when the door starts to open. That is when you really start to see you on the other side of, instead of motivated action, inspired action. And I gotta tell you, inspired action is we <laughs> down the hill. It's fun, okay? It's when we, you get creative and you get collaborative and you start looking at people and you're like, what can I do Like with you? Let's, do, let's create, let's do this. That all happens on that side of the hill. So guys, get there. But do it with your own inspired timing and really recognize the difference between external, like, and think about it today as you're going through life and you're going through actions. Am I doing that because I feel like I need this? I need to watch this. I need to do this. I need to have this meeting, you know, in order to go into action. Or can you really start finding it from within? That's going to be a major flip of your switch and you're going to see yourself grow to your goals in fitness and health and business, to all other kinds of levels. So visualize your door today, start to see it, share it with the group, feel what it's, what's on the other side, and you will move into this inspired state. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Share this broadcast out. Love you so much. I'll be posting out my door later today. Bye.